Live from downtown San Antonio, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. SA Live coverage powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. This is where the Old West makes its return to the Alamo City. Welcome to the 2023 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And our SA Live coverage today is brought to you by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. And of course, it is the official kickoff to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza, and we are live right here at Houston and Jefferson, where in just minutes, you'll see the cattle come on down. Yes, indeed. And a lot going on mm-hmm. all around town, not just here. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is joining us from the Wrangler Breakfast over at Milan Park. And David Elder, host of Texas Eats, well, he's going to be joining us with the Longhorn cattle. Oh, yes, because they are being released onto Houston Street and are going to make their way right here through the heart of San Antonio. Yes, and this is our cattle cam powered by Ewald Kubota Tractors. And, of course, these gentle giants carry with them, you know, that rich heritage and all those traditions of the Lone Star State. And that is what we are honoring here today. And we are back out here at Houston and Jefferson. And I tell you, what a beautiful morning it has turned out to be. We couldn't have asked for a nicer day. The parade is bigger and better than ever. And just look at the thousands of people. Everybody give a wave and a yell lined up on Houston Street for the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And of course, the parade is bigger and better than ever. And in you know, in years past, we had to make some changes to the route because yeah. of construction. But this year, it is just a straight walk down Houston Street. Because in years past, it's been a little tough to take a big herd of longhorns and get them to turn <laughs> corners and everything like that. Well, of course, the parade starts right underneath the I-35 bridge and then comes all the way past us right here on Houston Street and ends down there at the Alamo. And helping us navigate the parade Parade's lineup this year is Chris Derby, Chief Marketing Officer for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Good to have Welcome. you here, Chris. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah. All right. The official kickoff rodeo. How many years has it been? This is the 15th annual cattle drive, and it'll be the 74th annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Wow. And of course, a lot of history, right? A lot of history. We just love the history of the cattle drive coming on down Houston Street. It's the old way that used to go right down into the Alamo, so we can bring it back to San Antonio. Okay, so this is the official kickoff, and when does the rodeo actually start? The rodeo actually starts on Thursday, February the 9th. We kick off with Ryan Bingham from Yellowstone, and it will end on February the 26th with our family day down on the ground. All right, lots been going yeah. on to get everything set up. We're going to hear more about the cattle drive and the uh, rodeo coming up in just a couple of minutes and all that you can expect yeah. this year. Yeah, and a full day of activities and helping to kick things off was a free breakfast. And our Jen Tobias Strusky is over at Milan Park for that Wrangler breakfast right now. Jen, I can almost smell it from here. What's cooking? <laughs> I know, right? Yes, you talk about the history and all those activities. Well, for me, the activities have been eating, (laughs) a lot of eating. I have Penny Riley here with me. And again, the history, we talk rodeo. How long have you been part of the rodeo? A little over 40 years. 40 years, and what got you started? Gosh, my parents started taking me out there when I was a little kid, and when I wisened up, I started going chasing those Wrangler jeans. So it was the Wrangler jeans. Okay, I can understand that. So we have some biscuits and gravy that we're serving up here. And this is a free breakfast, by the way. And it's kind of winding down. There was a longer line earlier, right, Penny? We had a very long line earlier. In fact, we've had a few of them coming in waves. Yes, and there was pan de campo. And here we've got the biscuits, the gravy. And it's all about taking in the history of how they used to eat when they were on the trails and the traditional recipes. So you have some family here. I want to give a shout out to your nephews. Yeah, I've got my nephews that have been coming out here for many years. We've got Nathan, Jared, and Jason here. They were helping with this breakfast before they could see over the table. Oh my goodness. Now their heads are hitting the top of the tent. (laughs) They are very tall. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to serve some more biscuits and gravy. You want some biscuits and gravy? There you go. It's a great way to kick off rodeo. Yes. What a great way to kick off. Mike and Fiona. I'll try to save you some biscuits and gravy. I don't know. We'll try, right, Penny? Maybe we'll sandbag a few of them for you. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I'll just eat it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Back to Please. You. We would love that. Yes. <laughs> and Jen, I mean, we love your outfit. Yep. And we're excited about our rodeo duds, too. And we got all gussied up thanks to Boot Barn. Yes, indeed. Hats, the outfit, <laughs> everything. We were out there yesterday. And I tell you what, everything you need over there at Boot Barn. And we are going to show you our little shopping trip coming up on Thursday, of course, because that's the start of rodeo. And that's going to be at 1 p.m. on SA Live. And, of course, one of the most exciting parts of the day are the Longhorns. And just ahead of the cattle drive is David Elder from Texas Eats giving us an up-close look at these magnificent animals. Yeah, I don't know if he's drawn the short straw or not being that close <laughs> to those Longhorns because his, his nickname is Don't Slow Down, David. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the whole thing that you don't want to do is, is slow down. That's the whole emphasis of this part of the event. But I tell you what, it is such a blast to be back here. If I am short of breath, it's because I've already been running a little bit because we've been having to stay ahead of them. But it's fantastic. Y'all excited for the Longhorns? Oh, uh, y'all could do better than that. I said, y'all excited for the Longhorns? Come on, y'all. All right. We're working on it. We're working on it. We'll get them all excited. It's early. We'll give you all a pass on that one. But you guys, it's super awesome to be out here. We have the Longhorns right behind us, the Kimball Cattle Company bringing up a dozen or like multiple dozens of Longhorns. And it's fantastic. We have a lot of people. How's it going, y'all? I mean, everybody is just psyched. They're pumped up here on the parade route. You guys are pumped, right? Yeah! <laughs> and we're also super excited to just be out here and talk with everyone. Since we're going to follow the parade route, we're going to get out, we're going to walk around, talk with more people. But as you can see right behind us, that's the action. This is what it's all about. I mean, the old Chisholm Trail, that's what this whole thing's based off of, would go all the way up to Kansas and start in San Antonio. And that's why we're here. It's, it's honoring that heritage. How's it going, y'all? <laughs> I tell you what, I get asked more, where is the food on this parade route more than any other time? There you see, there you go, where's the food? Um, but it is such a great part to be even involved in this part of, of San Antonio's history and the heritage, and to be out here and witness it for yourself and bringing the kids and the family, it's just fantastic. How y'all doing? <laughs> But uh, it's adorable. You can see in the front, they have a little bit of everybody just lending a hand. How's it going, y'all? And there's even a little one here in the front. She's doing a great job. I think Ben is zooming in on her for us. There you go. But how y'all doing? I, I tell you what, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else right now in the world. I love being a part of this event and just walking the parade route, meeting everybody and being a part of history every year is fantastic. But we'll toss it back there to Mike and Fiona. You guys, we're having a great time out here. I have to run now, though. I have to get going. Oh, oh that, yes. is, that <laughs> is fantastic. I think I can see some uh, flashing lights maybe leading the way way, mm -hmm. way down there as we watch, uh, wait for the uh, cattle to come on down here. And, of course, our broadcast is all thanks to our sponsor, your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. And joining us for his very first cattle drive, but no stranger to rodeo, is Daryl Dixon, president of the San Antonio area Chevy dealers local marketing association. Hey there. Good morning. Welcome. Well, everything in this parade is either on wagon wheels or hooves, except uh, your ride right here. Pretty nice. <laughs> That's right. This is the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado Crew Cab. This truck has been redesigned from the exterior to the interior. Larger cab for more leg room and hip room. 13.4 inch screen. It's an awesome truck. You just have to test drive it. Okay, and where can folks pick up one of these bad boys? You can go to mysachevy.com, pull up the San Antonio area Chevy dealer of your choice. You can chat, you can look at the inventory, you can even schedule a test drive. Can you get us in this today? <laughs> <laughs> Right now. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll just hop in here. You, we'll give you the microphone. So you uh, did a lot of rodeo on yourself when you were in your younger years, right? I did. Grew up in West Texas and, and rode bulls all the way through high school. So I love this Western culture. When was the last time you were on a bull? Um, it's a while, Mike. <laughs> 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 Probably a smart decision, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you very much. Have a fantastic rodeo, sir. So, let's rodeo San Antonio. Yes, indeed. All right. We are still waiting on those Longhorns to get down here. But, of course, we got some very important business to take care of. And that's giving away some freebies, which includes some passes to the rodeo itself. Yes, we have a few rodeo trivia questions for the crowd here. All, All right. right. Well, here's our first contestant. What's your name? Isabel. What's his name? Kellen. All, All right. right. Okay, good. here yeah. it is. First question. Mutton busting is where kids try to hold on to a wild running sheep. How many seconds do they need to hold on to win a bright, shiny new buckle? Eight. 
eight seconds? The answer is six. Six seconds. Good enough. But uh-huh. there you go. You. <laughs> right. Everybody's a winner here. Hi, I'm Melissa. All right. What's All right. Question? The question is, what is the minimum amount of time a bull reader needs to hold on to the bull for a successful ride? Six. Are we eight? Eight. Yes. There you go. Okay. Eight. Eight seconds is and correct. Also, what day is it today? Happy birthday to me. Happy Yay. birthday. <laughs> Next. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jalissa. All right, Jalissa, here we go. What kind of cookie do pigs get as a reward for the pig races? Oatmeal. It, it, it starts it's with O. And ends with an O. And it's got a cream filling on the inside. Oh. And chocolate, you split it apart. An Oreo. Oh, an Oreo. An Oreo. Yes, there an Oreo. Go. There it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. And next, right here. What is your name, sir? Kate Anderson. All, All right. right, here we go. True or false? All right, 50 50 chance here. All right. <laughs> Keith Urban is performing this year at the rodeo. Uh, yes. He's correct. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. There you go, sir. All right, got a Cowboys fan here. That's no it. Well, what's your name? Manuel De La Garza. All right, here we go. Do men or women typically compete in breakaway roping? Women. Breakaway roping is calf roping from horseback. Typically, women compete. Correct. All right. And last but certainly not least, what's your name? Tommy Tyson. All right, Tommy, here we go. Our final question. Do kids or adults typically compete in the calf scramble? Kids. Yes, typically kids between ages 12 and 17. Congratulations. (laughs) Enjoy the rodeo, folks. And once again, happy birthday. (laughs) Yes. Okay. (laughs) This has been a lot of fun, you know, and the parade is just Ooh, they're I, getting closer and closer. Okay. We see them. Yep, it is just getting started. We are going to take a little break here. And when we come back, the 2023 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive is going to get going. We got the Longhorns yes. coming down Houston Street here. We'll, we'll be checking out the annual Vaquero Cook-Off. They're happening at Market Square. All right, welcome back to the 2023 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And our SA Live coverage today is brought to you by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealer. Yes, indeed. And of course, the like I said, here's the folks coming down. We are waiting for the Longhorns. And it looks like, yep, they are just right down the street from us right now. There you can see them coming on down. Yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, before we get to the Longhorns, we're going to check in real quickly with Chris Derby, Chief Marketing Officer of the San San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo to talk about just what folks can see and experience at the rodeo this year. Well, you know, we're going to bring back a lot of what we always have for all the family fun. We've got the retail shopping. We've got a lot of ag education, a lot of horse events down there on our family fairgrounds. <laughs> you know, a, a large group of people obviously put together the rodeo as well as the uh, Western Heritage Parade Cattle Drive Committee. We just saw the banner for them. And here we can see, of course, cowboys and cowgirls leading the way with the, all those longhorns right in behind right there. Okay, and of course, it's KSAT 12's uh, seventh year to air the parade. And here come the Kimball Cattle. Yes, indeed. And they are owned, of course, by Dr. Kimball and uh, Drs. Janice and Scott Kimball. A true tradition coming down the streets. They have been Houston raising Street. Texas Longhorns since 1981 there in Carnes County. And they have approximately 200 head of these historic cattle in the field. And today they brought dozens of registered Texas Longhorns, which are, you know, they are walking Texas history. I don't know if you can hear just the nice little clop of all the hooves right here on Houston Street. And you just got to look at this herd of cattle coming by. Yeah, and there's actually 45 head down this drive today. So we're excited to bring them down and bring back that history of bringing them on down Houston Street down to the Alamo. And just looking at some of the faces on the people seeing this for the first time, especially the kids, I mean, it is amazing. And of course, you can come see the Wow Longhorn Museum in downtown Carn City. And of course, do you know there are 33 different types of grasses in Texas? Longhorns will eat 27 to 28 of them, and the females and males are born with little nubbins as well. All right, it is the Texas Herding Association, and we just had them on the show yesterday. Yep, and of course, these wonderful dogs, they are so well-trained. We have got, and about uh, different 
dogs with different owners, and they all work together to herd those sheep. And, and Mike and Fiona, just so you guys know, we will actually have sheep dog trials down at our rodeo at the Freeman Coliseum. It's free with your grounds tickets, so you can come check it out at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. All right, and of course, uh, they use a combination of both verbal and whistle commands. Yes, indeed. And of course, right behind us right now, there is Dr. Kimball. We just wanted to get a quick shot of him. Good Hi. to see you, sir. Happy rodeo. Hi. He had stopped in that great wagon being pulled right there by a couple of mules there. Dr. Kimball, the one with all those fantastic cattle, had to stop and make his little appearance right there on, on television. Okay, back to the herding. It is always amazing. And they were talking about they have verbal or whistle commands because sometimes they'll send the dogs out about a mile, mile and a half to pick the sheep. Yeah, they're amazing. And actually, if one of the sheep go off trail, off the path, they go out there and they make sure they herd that back. While the other ones will stay there and make sure that herd stays where it's supposed to be. So, you said there's going to be competitions going on. Is that every day at the rodeo or, or That's going to schedule. If you can check the schedule, events at SARodeo.com. It'll be in our Freeman Coliseum at different times throughout the whole event. And, of so, course, the livestock they herd includes the sheep you see there, even ducks, along with cattle. And look at the dogs right in behind them. They can even instruct the dog to pick out one of those particular sheep. Right now, the Marine Corps Mounted Color Guard. Yes, okay, and this is the last remaining Mounted Color Guard within the Marine Corps today. And they primarily ride Palomino Mustangs, adopted from the Bureau of Land Management's Adopt a Horse program. Yes, indeed. And the Mounted Color Guard strives to maintain tradition, standard excellence, fitting their storied past. And it's the privilege of every Marine who has been given the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful legacy. Yeah, we're actually excited. You know, the rodeo does a lot for our military. These guys were actually down at the rodeo and were our color guard during one of our events. And we could not do it without military. And military are actually free on the grounds this year for every day for admission. Just come on down, show your military ID, and enter the rodeo grounds. So wonderful. And of course, everyone in uniform, thank you very much for your service. Can't do without these folks right in behind here. We got the Pooper Scoopers. <laughs> All right. Yes, from South San High School. And we will be right back with more from this year's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right after we pay some bills. to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, brought to you by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. And joining us, of course, is Chris Derby. Derby. Everything you need to know about it, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. And uh, we are seeing, of course, the rodeo clowns right now. Yep. So and this like is all about the mission statement with sale. And it's the San Antonio Livestock Exposition. Yeah, so our mission here at the San Antonio Livestock Exposition is all about the kids, educating the youth of Texas. It's, we couldn't do it without our 6,000 volunteers, and they help put on the grounds and they help put on our rodeo. So we'd like to thank everybody that's part of those volunteer group at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Because this is literally a year-round event. I mean, you start the day it after is. the rodeo ends, yes, right? Yes, we actually start on February 27th, the day after rodeo ends on the 26th for our 75th anniversary next year. We just saw a banner drive by while you were in commercial break. Uh -huh. and it had a number on it which is almost hard to believe $243 million. Yes, we have given away $243 million to help educate the youth of Texas, and that's all over Texas. And we're proud of that number, and we couldn't be any more proud of what volunteers make us help us do that. All right. Now, of course, one of the most popular and patriotic parts of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is the grand entry performance of Jack Sellers Palomino Patrol and Drill Team. Look at how beautiful they look. Extremely extensive history behind the Palomino Patrol, much of it surrounding the stunning saddles, flash uniforms, which the team originated way back in 1951. Yes, and they're still always a big part of our show. Just to let everybody know, they're actually now more of a pre-show. Our show starts at 7 o'clock at the rodeo. Now Palomino actually starts about 8 minutes prior to the show. So if you want to come check out the Palominos at the rodeo, be sure to arrive early this year. All of the trappings on those horses, oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. Yeah, this is actually a great group. We take them around San Antonio, they go around San Antonio, and they represent us and represent the Palomino Patrol. So we couldn't be more proud of what we have at 
to offer with them at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Of course, they were founded back in 1951. And there is the young lady that leads off most of the rodeos. It is Miss Rodeo Texas 2022, Bailey Simpson. And she is from the Woodlands, 23 years old, graduated from Paul Mitchell Cosmetology School back in 2019 and the Austin Institute of Real Estate in 2021. She travels over 50,000 miles promoting professional rodeo, Western heritage, and of course, agriculture, and was crowned back in June. I also had the honor lately of being the master of ceremonies in yep. that. And one great thing about her, about Bailey, is she's actually a past scholarship recipient of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, so we've helped dedicate to all the Miss Rodeo Texas as well. And following right here, we have, there is the San Antonio, Bear County Sheriff's Department, and it is the Mounted Division led by none other than Sheriff Javier Salazar. Yes, the Mounted Patrol Unit has nine members, all who volunteer their time in this unit on top of their full-time jobs at the Sheriff's Office. Yeah, and actually the grounds are the Bear County grounds that we are on with the fairgrounds, and the Bear County Sheriff's really help us out. And just so everybody might not be aware, the rodeo has its own police force with the help of the Bear County Sheriff's of over 250 officers from around local cities and around San Antonio. So they are deputized for the rodeo at that, and they get rodeo badges in everything. They are. They are actually called rodeo police. And, of course, all of the mounts are named after fallen deputies who have paid the, made the ultimate sacrifice and paid the <laughs> ultimate price. And the, <laughs> Get up here a little bit closer. <laughs> yes, of course, Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar. Great to see you, Mike. Good morning. Happy rodeo. How Happy. you feel to be back in the rodeo? Really good, man. Really good. We're having a good time out here. Who are you riding right here? This is Jesse. Jesse. Named in honor of Deputy Jesse Garza. Jesse, Deputy Jesse Garza. Yes, sir. Uh, gentlemen, thank you all very much for your service. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Y'all be safe. Good to see you. Take care. <laughs> He always stops by. He loves to <laughs> <Yes>. stop by. <laughs> Next, another beautiful mounted patrol, and this is the Texas A&M Parsons Mounted Cavalry. Yes, military training at A&M included mounted drill until 1943 when the Army disbanded its horse operations. Yeah, and actually today's unit consists of 65 horses and seven mules, and most which were donated and owned by the unit. You know, it's always so impressive watching the A&M band at, at say, the the parades that we have here in town, but also these guys and ladies on horseback like this. Beautiful. Yes, and that cavalry tradition was revived in 1974. The Corps used military horse training to teach cadets self-discipline, confidence, leadership, and decision-making. And the funding comes from an endowment with the Texas A&M Foundation, the Dean of Students Office, and season holding tickets donations through the 12th Man Foundation. And a lot of Aggies, yes. Justin Horn, Sarah Spivey, and Mia Montgomery that I get to work with. <laughs> yeah, and actually, the A&M University is one of our scholars recipients as well as one of our universities around the state of Texas, which we actually touch 254 counties and over 100 Texas universities. Wow, this is a huge... Wow! I didn't realize this group was so big. Let's go, Aggies, gig them! <laughs> yeah, Get, we, we need somebody with a ring on here to give them the, the are you an Aggie? I am not an okay. Aggie, but I work with a lot of them. I tell you what, we're all about agriculture. All right. Well, we will be right back with more from this year's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Stick around. Welcome back to this year's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive brought to you by your local San Antonio Chevy dealers. And right now you are looking at the city of Live Oak riding in the unique horse-drawn trolley. Several dignitaries and guests of the city of Live Oak who are the presenting sponsor of all the Western Heritage Parade weekend events. Yeah, and it looks like they're being pulled by the, some Clydesdales, which is really oh great, gosh. which is fantastic. We will actually have the Budweiser Clydesdales at the rodeo this year for the first time in a long time. Starting what? February 16th through the 24th. So come on out and see them on the grounds and in the rodeo. That's a great looking trolley with everybody on board like that. Yeah, there's something so beautiful about those Clydes. All the horses 
are beautiful, but yeah, the Li the uh, the Clydesdales. Definitely, and we'd like to thank Live Oak. They're a great partner with us, and we could not have helped put on this parade without the city of Live Oak. Oh, that's great looking. All right, now a very special one, the KSAT Insider Wagon. Yes, and atop the red KSAT Wagon, it's driven by Dennis Moore, owner of the Buggy Barn. And who's in it? Oh, my goodness, it is Ursula Perry and David Sears. And five KSAT Insiders and their guests are getting to ride in this. And there they all are. Hey, speaking of Aggies, there's another Aggie riding on top of that there. So, <laughs> Happy, happy runner. Hello. David Ursel right there in the back. <laughs> okay, and remember, as a case ad insider, these lovely people get exclusive behind the scenes content, sweepstakes, and unique local experiences like today's chance to ride in the parade. Find out all great stuff. All you have to do is just sign up, uh, go to our website, sign up for free. And right now, there we have South San Antonio High School FFA and some of the most important folks in this whole cattle drive, the Pooper Scoopers. Yes. Yeah, and with the FFA and the 4-H and all the livestock kids down on the grounds, we actually bring over 18,000 exhibitors. We are one of the largest livestock shows in the state. First. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize, you know, they go there for the rodeo and the concerts, but all of the livestock presentation with these kids and contests are going on constantly, right? Yeah, that's every day. We have cattle, we have sheep, and actually last year the auction committee raised over $6.9 million dollars for those education for the livestock commit for the livestock children that were oh, there. Oh, they are so excited. You can hear them cheering and a big thank you, of course, to those fabulous high schoolers. Yeah, when you see those kids out there early in the morning with their their livestock and they just pamper them right now. Here come some of the beautiful ones. Yes, Ballet Folklorico Sol de San Antonio was established in 2019 and is under the direction of founder Alina Martin. Yes, they have been on our show before mm -hmm. and never get tired of looking at those beautiful dresses. All of the young ladies of all ages that are dancing. Yes, they are, of course, an award-winning competitive group residing in the central area of the city, and they highlight Mexican roots, culture, and traditions. Now, as a group of beginners, they're professional dancers from all over, and it has a mission to bring back, of course, their roots and culture. Yeah, and actually, they will be performing down on our fairgrounds this year. You can stop by our Latin Street Fair, which is an Expo One. Come on down and see them on the Latin stage. They might even do a little bit of performing here for us today. Let's take a look. And I also wanted to point out, too, that we have a Noche de Vaquero Rodeo that takes place on February 19th at 7.30 down on our grounds. It's not a PRCA rodeo, but it's actually called a Mexican rodeo. So we're excited to have that this year as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, they are continuing to look for dancers from all ages that would like to learn and express their talent through dance. You can find them on social media. And next, we have the Rosas de Castilla. They were founded under the direction of Rose and Cena right here in San Antonio. And these young ladies are a side saddle equestrian riding group who participate in exhibitions and parades. Yeah, we actually have a uh, the Escaramuzas as well as the Chariata that's free again in the Freeman Coliseum on February 20, uh, 25th, actually on our grounds from 4 to 6. You can come on down and see them perform as well as the uh, Chariata. And those beautiful dresses, lovely young ladies, and of course, they are riding side saddle. Yes, and they're also ambassadors who meet and greet dignitaries during their visit. Age range, 4 to 19 years old. Right now, we have the United States Army Fort Sam Houston Quezon Group. Quezon section of Fort Sam Houston Funeral Honors, uh, Honors Platoon was formed back in 2002. Better honor departed soldiers being carried home to honored glory at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. Yeah, and today there's actually eight soldiers and 10 of the horses from the platoon. And just to make everybody aware, this year the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo worked with Fort Bay Sam Houston and we helped beautify their area for the horses. We went out there with volunteers and our military committee was fantastic at making this happen for the case on horses. And of course, thank you all very much for your service and folks that do a lot. U.S. Border Patrol Laredo Sector. 
Yes, they've served the southwest border in Laredo since 1924. Yeah, and I'd say that United States Border Patrol has depended on horses to carry out the border security and the missions for over 98 years. So just think, without those horses, we cannot keep those borders safe. Area responsibility stretches from the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas to the Oklahoma and Arkansas state lines. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, thank you all very much for your service. Oh, yes, one of the generous sponsors who helped make this weekend possible, Alamo Management Group. They offer many digital solutions to ensure smart and convenient service, but we'll never forget the value of developing personal relationships. Yeah, and that's a big part of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, as well as the Western Heritage Parade. Without our partners, sponsors, and everybody in the community, we could not make this happen. And again, everybody out here enjoying such a great time. This would not happen without the city of San Antonio and all the great people. And right behind them, we have got Cooper Scoopers following up. And I'll tell you, there they are doing their job. And I'll tell you what, we're going to take a little bit of a break, but we're going to come back with a whole lot more of the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive in downtown San Antonio. Welcome back to downtown here at the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive brought to you by your local San Antonio Chevy dealers. There are thousands of people lining Houston Street right now and I'll tell you what, they are enjoying the show, especially the world famous Thomas Jefferson Lassos under the direction of head director Christina Neal and assistant Anna Liel. Yeah, today they can be seen across South Texas in different parades, at community events, and in our parade, which is actually, I'm going to comment on it, the largest parade non-motorized in the United States. I the did not know that. I did yes, we have no either. motorized rubber tires in this parade, so I mean, everything on wagon wheels and hooves, and I think the lassos are going to be performed for us right now. say the Lassos are a service performance and a spirit organization. A lot of these spirit organizations around Texas and these high schools give a lot of time. So thank you to all those spirit organizations around here at all those high schools. Yeah, and they're ambassadors for the school and they travel all around, not just here to the rodeo. Found them back in 1932. All right, now the Bear County Buffalo Soldiers Association. They were organized uh, back in San Antonio in 1999. And of course, the purpose is to research, preserve, educate, and lecture, to provide an accurate and objective history of the great contributions given the United States Army's 9th and 10th Cavalries, the 24th and 25th Infantries, and the Black Seminole Scouts during the Indian War periods. Yes, and we will be excited to welcome them to the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo on Monday. Uh, 220 February the 20th they will actually be riding earlier we discussed riding with the Clydesdales out in the arena so we'd like to welcome them out to the arena next here is the ranch rodeo committee works to keep western heritage front and center by hosting the annual ranch rodeo competition 
Yes, and if you have not seen the Ranch Rodeo at the San Antonio Stockton Rodeo, come on out on February the 16th. It is a great event. It's not a PRCA rodeo, but this is what real ranch hands used to do and compete on their properties. So they just kind of see who's who's best, right? They do. It's actually really <laughs> fun. And what's so great about it is they have a thing that I love. It's called hide racing. So they jump on a hide, pulled by a horse, and they tag each other and jump on another one in the arena on the dirt. It's fantastic. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? My goodness. And we actually have some great ranches. We have King Ranch, uh, the Four Sixes, which you guys might know by Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then our last year's winner, the Thompson Ranch. And that's going to be on Thursday, February 16th. 7 p.m. with the Randy Rogers Band in concert right after that heart-pounding competition. All right, now the Charros de Bejar are composed of the competition teams of Bear County. They compete in Chariata, a national sport of Mexico, and it celebrates, of course, the traditional methods of animal husbandry developed in Mexico and the Southwest U.S. Yeah, and the Vercados are really what came down and made the American Cowboy today. And this is kind of part of the Charros. And like I said, we do have the Chariata that takes place on our grounds for free on February 25th. Come on out, see them, see them compete. It's a great, great event. Oh, my goodness, those beautiful horses and the the gorgeous dresses that those yes. young ladies are wearing. And it's distinguished from rodeo by an emphasis on floreo or trick roping. And in 2016, Chariata was added to the list of Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity by UNESCO. And as you know, the women's competition is called the Escaramusa, riding side saddle, and they perform synchronized maneuvers to music. Just love hearing the clop of the hooves and the horseshoes on the street. All right, the River City Renegades is an elite drill team based out of Floresville. Compromise of talented horsewomen who have dedicated their time and skills to bring the San Antonio Rodeo fans a show they won't forget. Yeah, and they're owned and led by Jen Brown and Brittany Goss. Their uh, commitment to delivering new exciting performances is immeasurable, and we just like to thank them to be a, and be a part of our parade this year. <laughs> and, of course, they are very proud to introduce all of you this amazing group of individuals that make up the River City Renegades. Love the tan horses primarily and the black outfits that they're wearing. And they're owned and led by Jen Brown and Brittany Goss. Their commitment to delivering new exciting performances is immeasurable. Yeah, and you can also check out so many horses at our show this coming up this coming up uh, February. So February 9th to the 26th at the rodeo, we have a whole horse education tent that will be on the grounds with all types of horses for people to see and witness. All right, Whiskey Wagon. Here comes Whiskey Wagon, Reproduction Peddler's Whiskey Wagon, built by Bill Williams. Now this wagon was used to bring goods to the people of the frontier, from household goods to medicine and, of course, the whiskey. I was going to say, that kind of goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> and imagine that old tradition of coming down. It wasn't just the Longhorns came down. I think they always had a whiskey wagon with them. And the mules pulling them, Jasper and Jackson. They are brothers only one year apart. I wonder which one's older. Probably one picking on the little one. <laughs> oh, and of course, they bring the music. <laughs> I love the picture on the side of that wagon. That's great. (laughs) Well, now we're looking at the 1st Cavalry Division Horse Cavalry Detachment led by Captain Abigail Edwards and 1st Sergeant Juan Villarreal. This is an elite ceremonial unit of active duty soldiers that supports the U.S. Army in its public relations and recruiting efforts right out of Fort Hood, not too far north of here. And I love... Mm -hmm the old uniforms back from late 1800s, I would guess, that they are wearing. Oh, and they are full of energy and excited to be here. <laughs> and once think- again, the South Sand Scoopers are following behind them. And we will be right back with more from this year's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right after this.
Welcome back to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. The owner of the my ghost range, and we are joined by Chris Derby from the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, the official kickoff today. Yes, and of course, Tejas Rodeo Rough Riders Drill Team is what you're looking at right now. They are an award-winning precision drill team that was founded back in 2005. They compete in several parades, 40 rodeos at the House Rodeo Company up in Bolverde every year. Yeah, come on out and watch their amazing rodeo performances on Saturday nights and uh, march, through, march, march through November out of Tejas Rodeo. I think that's the thing a lot of people, I, I didn't realize that so many, I know some of the entries in here participate, but a lot of this is right then going over to the rodeo to perform. Yes, right? correct. Yeah, a lot of it goes right in. Like I said, we have a lot of equestrian events and we have a cutting, which is really cool to watch out at the Freeman Coliseum. Mm -hmm. And it's, again, it's all free with your grounds admission. All right, the high stocking miniature horses and Shetland ponies. Here they come with all the cuteness. And they're owned and trained by Robin and Jim Bailey. Located basically right down the road there in Lavernia. Oh, aren't they just the most adorable things you've ever Aww. seen? <laughs> Many horses and Shetlands go by height requirements. Shetland is typically 42 inches or fewer. Many horses considered to be 38 inches and less. Well, look at that big hair on those manes. Big, tex <laughs> big Texas hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are there events for miniatures at the rodeo? <laughs> there used to be. that. Actually, I don't think this year there are, but I think they will be on display. You can come on down and see the mini horses. Okay. The trainee <laughs> must learn. This is, you know, great uh, boarding lessons for kids out there. They learn to compete, and during competitions, they aren't allowed to touch their bodies or make to make them do different tricks. And a Shetland is typically 42 inches or fewer, and a mini horse is considered to be 38 inches. And they pull fewer. the little tiny wagons as They're well. So cute, I can't even. Okay, those things are so. I don't know what's cuter, the little horses or the little <laughs> ones the little walking right with the little kids walking with them there. Oh, this is so wonderful! All the traditions of Texas. All right, here we go. I'm the raffle committee uh, horse carriage for. Those are still the. Mm -hmm. The horses that were dried on, on high and they shrunk a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. The San Antonio Livestock Exposition Raffle Committee, Horse Carriage Raffle Ticket Committee is riding in a carriage donated by the Buggy Barn Museum located up in Blanco. Yeah, and this committee actually supports many of the youth participants that we discussed earlier at the Junior Livestock Auction and the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo through the scholarships and our endowments that we give away. Yes. And I believe the Buggy Barn, isn't that uh, all of those uh, real authentic wagons and buggies that he restores. It is. It, it definitely is. And last year, I believe, if I'm correct, the uh, the raffle committee raised over $350,000 for the youth of Texas. So come on down, join the raffle, and have opportunities to win trucks, all kinds of great, exciting prizes. And once again, it's just a great example of how many different folks and organizations participate in the rodeo and all aspects of it. And coming up right behind them is the Show Steppers Riding Club, an organization that helps in a lot of community events and outreach includes working with foster kids and feeding the homeless. And they work closely with other organizations. Clubs help encourage appreciation, education, and the preservation of African Americans' heritage of country, culture, and lifestyle. Yeah, and some really something really neat to announce here is also riding with the show step is as an NFL player Keeman Hall who's number 37 with the Los Angeles Chargers uh, he makes his home here in the offseason and participating with a lot of community service events so we'd like to welcome him into the trail ride here or actually into the uh, the cattle drive right now today I love the beautiful blankets that they have under their saddles and the wrappings on the horses uh, legs gorgeous All right, this is the Bandera Pro Rodeo Association. They present family fun at their professional rodeo over at Memorial Day weekend in Bandera. Yep, and it's the board's honor to support the San Antonio Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Volunteers dedicated to increasing enthusiasm about the sport of rodeo, educating young folks about the history of Ford, the Cowboys, homage to the sport and great 
preserving the cowboy heritage. Yeah, Mike, and this is actually a PRCA rodeo, too, as well as ours. This is actually a small PRCA outdoor rodeo. We also have one in a Lotus in the local community, and then ours, which is a large indoor PRCA rodeo. And, of course, PRCA is the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. They, they travel all over the United States to end up at the NFR in Vegas. And I just want to say, going through San Antonio is the road to Vegas. Uh, now we are looking at the Buggy Barn Museum that's been involved with the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeos, Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive for the past nine years. And again, this is their 10th year being involved and sixth year as a wagon train leader. And the Buggy Bar Museum is located in Blanco, Texas, which is just north of San Antonio. So we welcome him, them here, like you said, for their 10th year on our 15th Cattle Drive Parade. And a lot of those mm-hmm. uh, buggies and wagons and everything have been in many TV shows as well as movies. And I want to say most recently was in 1883, the prequel to uh, Yellowstone. A lot of those, a lot of those buggies. Yes, indeed. See with the little facts there that you know. <laughs> big Benny <big fatty> Yellowstone. <laughs> uh, the Buggy Barn has over 200 unique buggies, carriages, and wagons. Always so cool looking. All right, here is the San Antonio Livestock Exposition Trail Ride Committee. And the committee was established in 1980 primarily by the trail riders to preserve those traditions. So many trail rides then are started a couple of weeks ago and then come into town. Just they are. The they actually started yesterday. This is their week long. They met down in Mexico and they're coming through. This is the last trail ride committee to meet up. We'll have a few coming in. They actually do their trail ride into our arena, just like the old days. Coming on down, everybody meet, gather together and enjoy the grounds. <laughs> and this trail ride is the last group to join the other 10 trail ride groups. And this is the biggest group with about 200 riders. Yeah, it's great. It's back that old time days when they used to sit there and camp out and sing those songs and have a good Western time. All that comes back to what we need to have in America today is just really that family culture and that fun time with all friends together. Established way back in 1969. Yeah, it's always so fun when, you know, just to hear about these trail rides and to think that's what life was mm-hmm. like. Yeah, the history, ago, yeah, the history years tradition. Ago. And again, them riding down this street. Think what happened down here many, many years ago. Same type of atmosphere we're seeing today. Wonderful tradition. Well, we said there's 200 riders that are coming through here. So you're going to see a lot of horses. And you'll see some of these again down at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. It takes place February 9th to the 26th. Get your tickets now at SARodeo.com. Okay, this group is just can coming and coming and coming and not stopping you know and you think about it too they have to on these trail rides just like back in the old days take all of their provisions with them and the chuck wagon and everything else definitely you can actually still see them sometimes on the sides of the road as they're coming down the highways which is very amazing and they sit there and camp out and they have a good time prior to the rodeo that is absolutely fantastic. You know, when you again, you, you think about the Longhorns coming down here to start this cattle drive, and that's the way it was back in the 1800s when they would bring them in or take, take them to market. And same thing with all of these trail rides. That's exactly what happened back then. This is a recreation of history. Yeah, this is that tradition in San Antonio. We had the rivers where they'd come here and water their horses, feed their horses, and come on down to the Alamo. Oh, and now it is Robert and Sarah, we're not with the Tiny Texas Town Museum, riding today in a modified 1890 Morrison self-propelled wagon. And what's so exciting about this, like we discussed earlier, there's, there's not a rubber tire on that wagon. So being part of this parade, there is no rubber tire on that wagon. Look at it go. Oh, that is great. I have never seen one of those before. That is absolutely fantastic. And another very important entry is the San Antonio Livestock Exposition Animal Ambulance. Yes, and this is the only motorized vehicle at the very end of this parade that you're going to see. And this is actually a really care for our animals and the treatment of all our animals that display in a competition. A lot of people don't realize we actually have our stock already here at this present time in San Antonio that hang out at a ranch and ready to roll for the rodeo. And of course, there are so many veterinarians on hand there to take care of all of the animals. And yeah, just a well-oiled machine, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And of course, following up right here at the very end, we got some pooper scoopers. And I'll tell you what, we are going to take a break right now and we are going to wrap things up in just a couple of minutes. So stick around. 